Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Moss Valley Zoo in our franchise mode here on the channel and today we'll continue our work on this zoo as you can see our little zoo is not so little anymore we have some more exhibits, no more enclosures and today we were at one more and by the thumbnail of this video you probably know that the animal that we'll be adding today is the moose so we are back to animals from uh, the last uh, new dlc the north america pack and this is what we are going to do today as you can see i already like prepared a, a bit a path that will be like next to the uh, moose enclosure and basically uh, in here we will would do uh, like a little American North American ungulate area there are already some ostriches which are like obviously not fitting to this area but still would like to I would like to make it work so they will stay here but and we'll make the ungulates around it the path will go basically like this this is the first thing that I would like to do in this video the second thing is uh, a showcase of the blueprint that were, was uploaded, the first blueprint uh, that I wanted to, you know, uh, showcase last time, but I didn't have a chance because, uh, you know, uh, we didn't have all the things re researched by then. Uh, why there is no keeper here? Please do your job. <laughs> uh, we didn't have the research, but now we have it, we can use it. So from now on, every time you will upload a new blueprint, I will be able to use them. Uh, so, and the second thing is the thing that I uh, you promised you guys will do a bit of like a area, restaurant area. I think about it as a pe picnic area here with actually coffee and I think some sweets because I am recording this video actually right after um, the uh, new uh, anniversary free content was uh, released so we have a new lemur uh, and we have a new shop and I would like to use this new shop it is like a cupcake or a cake shop if I am not wrong so this is what I want to use it use uh, today and the basically will do those three things uh, today in this video and I hope that I won't make it too long what is going on why it has escaped out it's because of the barrier probably it is okay and this is a social issue uh that we had are those little guys no we just got some new little ones and everything here is okay they'll go back right to their shelter and everything will be fine in a second so Let's not waste any time and let's go and build the moose habitat. As you can see, also, I forgot to tell you guys about uh, this thing. Uh, this will be like a Taras uh, with a restaurant as well. Uh, we should have like, you know, we are playing in hard mode. Uh, the food and the drinks are very important for our guests to keep them happy. So we will we have like a food uh, area here, a second one here, the third one here. and then I think that this is the right like uh, you know uh, distance to the next food uh, corner or food court or something so we'll have some restaurants here with some tables with a nice view from whatever will be here probably some forest or another habitat we will see but yeah let's go back let's uh, build this moose habitat uh, so I will continue what we basically did here uh, to make it all cohesive and nice. Uh, so, let me do it. Uh, I have to... Okay, so let's use this wall like we did last time. Uh, we have to do it more or less even, so it looks nice. Okay, now well, that's not even actually. It will be hard to make it even, so probably I will make it off the camera because it will take a lot of time. So maybe let's focus on something else. Let's firstly maybe delete all of those uh, trees because they are basically in a way of our enclosure. 
and let's do defense right now. Also, we'll probably need another staff area because there the other ones are quite far from you know this habitat. There's staff area inside there, so I think that I would make one in the middle here. And actually, I thought about still using this shelter because it is uh, like looking nice. We can rebuild it a bit. And I think that, you know, this shelter looking like this is fine. I'm not sure if the moose actually needs a shelter, but uh, we will use this one anyway. So, of course, we need to have another entrance to it. Uh we need to like move those walls okay so quickly let me fix that so that the moose will have uh, like its own uh, very own part of this shelter Uh, by the way, uh, yeah, the new uh, things about the new, you know, anniversary update were just, you know, released. <laughs> I'm super, super excited. I kind of, like, predicted it. Uh, a lot of people thought that, you know, we'll get this new lemur uh, because this was a very weird post that they posted some time ago with this, you know... Uh, a mystery animal and it didn't look like any of the lemurs that we have in game so me and other people like suspected that we will get a new lemur probably for an anniversary or some i don't know mystery dlc or something but uh we're kind of right we got a new uh lemur for an anniversary no one expected a new shop this is something new. This is the first actually shop that we were given since the game was released. So this is something new. This is something that no one expected. Always, you know, uh, surprises are that, like that are super, super welcome for all the players. The, all the uh, new new com content is free. So this is amazing. They, I don't think that they have like released. No, probably uh, they never released like a free animal from like from the beginning of our game the game has actually two years which is super super crazy for me uh how quickly the time flies because i you know i remember very very good when uh when this game was announced my anticipation for you know uh, the release date and uh you know preparing like watching all the uh, people who like had a bit of early access or played it on the games com i think it was uh they could they were able i think it was rudy and the lady designer who uh were able to play it uh, and I was watching their, those videos and I j just was very, very hype, hyped for it and couldn't wait. Uh, and yeah, I remember it so well. And uh, this, is actually, this was actually more than two years ago. So this is very like, crazy how quickly the time uh, flies and you know, how many actually things we got from this game, how many new DLCs and... Yeah, a lot of things happened. I basically, uh, you know, started this channel because of this game. So uh, I, I really, really like this is a huge part of my life lately. This game. So uh, the anniversary is obviously a big thing for me as well. Like personally, this game changed a lot of things for me. I fell in love with it, with it, and yeah, I think it is amazing. Okay, let me see if the terrain that I was able to create quickly looks fine. I think it looks fine. Here we will put like a stuff area, I think. We'll have the moose exhibit here, and then probably one or two exhibits in here. Uh, and the path will be going around, and we have like a path here. And I think that it will be, it will make sense. Okay, so let's quickly like smooth it out. 
here there's like this looks a bit weird so maybe let's do like flatten to the surface not to make it like maybe it was too harsh actually okay so yeah today we are adding the moose i saw many comments under last photo uh last photo what i'm saying under last video uh that you guys would like to see a moose habitat so we are doing it today uh, i love the moose as i told you guys in my elm hill city zoo video where we uh like made uh, the first habitat for the moose ever the model just looks stunning this is like a such a cool animal like to be added uh, I waited for it actually from the very first day that this game was uh, released so ha having it uh, like finally is amazing just amazing okay maybe I will actually do it here and make it a bit bigger so let's do the fence first Okay, now I see that this is probably a bit, maybe... Too high, but I don't... Uh, just as I thought, we have this path, so we cannot manipulate terrain too close to it, which is a bit weird, because it is basically an elevated path, but yeah, this is just this game, and we have to live with it. So let's move it out. Because I don't want to delete this path. Okay, I will cover it with some rocks. Uh, okay, guys. So I think I will do a small, like, quick cut here. I will finish off the fence and this uh, wall. And I will be right back to show you how... It is looking, but right now the habitat looks a bit like this. We obviously need to add some water because they love to swim. And I will be back here in a second. Okay, so I finished that wall and I like extended a bit, a bit our uh, viewing gallery. I don't think I will be doing it all the way here because it will look a bit uh, repetitive. We have protesters. Oh no, is this because of the stress? So this is a bit of an issue, but it is coming back to normal. There are a lot of people here still. I hope that, you know, they'll be able to go back to normal in a second. Yeah, let's not bother about it right now. Uh, so, yeah. I don't think we'll be doing it in here. Uh, we'll go with this path down there and do, you know, the, those uh, habitats like on the lower level. So we don't need this. And I don't want to have like this huge tunnel going here. So let's start to work on our moose habitat. The first thing that we need is actually uh, some water area for them as they will love to swim. And they do it all the time, at least in my Elm Hill City Zoo, they are swimming a lot. So I want like a nice uh, body of water for them. I hope that it will work. I hope it is also deep enough. For them to swim. Of course it is obstructed. Um, it's probably because. This is for sure not deep enough. Okay. So let's do. I'll try to close it off and try 
again and maybe now no it won't work because it is just right on this level so i will try to make it a bit higher although we cannot do anything about the path in here i think or the terrain and this is very shallow hum this is quite an issue i don't want to like destroy this path but if there's nothing else that we can do i think that i will do it and I will do it this bit a bit like higher, maybe not like this, but oh, like this. And try to close it off with the terrain. Like that. And maybe now we'll... Yes, this is what I wanted to achieve. Perfect. This is a bit weird because always, you know, water being above a certain level of terrain, it looks a bit weird to me, but I don't think that, you know, this is a huge deal, especially in franchise modes. Uh, I just need to think if this looks quite natural, maybe let's do some you know, variation of the terrain around. Let's move it out a bit and let's add the water back in. Yeah, a bit better. Okay. And now let's add the path once more. I will try to do it more or less how it's been not to have to move you know this wall again to align it to the path yeah it's more or less fine okay and now let's get rid of some of the grass like that let's add some rock and now let's go back with some grass because it always looks better to do it like that okay and some longer grass here and there we'll of course check if you know the terrain is right for those animals in a second when i will get one in here but for uh, the beginning, I think that I will do all the rock work in this habitat. And this is the thing that I will also do off camera because I can already see that this episode is a bit too long. So uh, again, I will add all the rocks and I will be back here in a second. Okay, so this is what I came up with. Uh, as you can see, there are so many rocks in here. <laughs> I went a bit crazy. Uh, I did like this wall here made from rocks. Uh, I think that it is very, very nice. Looks good uh, for me. And yeah, we'll be able to send over our moose very soon. I just need to check quickly what is going on in here. Uh, I saw that there was some notification about our frogs social health oh because we have so many of them so probably we should sell them okay so let's move them in here and now everything should be fine also our uh also as i can see uh, we have some reward perfect and the small Oh, we have already actually the black ones right now. 
Okay, so let's send them over to the trend center because there are probably too many of them right now. And let's try, like, firstly to sell all the animals we have in here. Perfect, some additional money. And let me see who we have. I already have some moose for our habitat. I will release this guy uh, to the wild, I think. And uh, I will try to sell those. For some goods, like, like say, let's say, 600. Prairie dog is about to die of old age. Yeah, the problem with those small animals is that they don't, uh, like, you know, this is so sad. Uh, they don't live too much, too long, so... Uh, there's a lot of things, actually you can see a lot of them is now elderly, so we should probably buy some new ones in the future. Uh, but in fran franchise this is definitely an issue that you have to be careful to, you know, uh, change them, buy new ones from time to time. Okay, so let's add the... Uh, habitat gates in here and let's add the path uh, for the stuff we will do it like temporarily like quickly like easily if we will be able like here and I will fix it in the future okay and let's send our moose over uh, we have a male and a female in here. Uh, and I will try to buy another uh, female. Oh my god, so expensive. Let me see, who do we have? Oh, we can buy her with money and she's quite fine, so why not? Okay, and we can send her as well. So now we have two females and one male. And as soon as they'll be delivered, I will add some enrichment items and uh, plants. And the uh, habitat will basically be finished, right? When they are, like, delivered, I can already add, uh, you know, some of this grass. Of course, I cannot click it when I want it. I always say that they want to don't want this, those uh, you know uh, episodes to be too long, and then I make like so long, such a long videos. <laughs> but this is just a thing with franchise. Is everything fine with the terrain? Even those things I find so perfect. We have the water, we have the terrain, and everything is fine, and we can actually go crazy with plants and this is always very very like uh i am always happy to to see this that you know animals likes a lot of plants because i love to give them a lot of plants basically yeah so let's add a bit of uh this grass from in from time to time in certain places and then I will add some trees, make it look a bit more uh, like forest or something. I will add enrichment and then we will move to another thing, which is our lovely bl blueprint and adding some shops. Okay, it is already looking so much better with this grass. Okay, and let me see what our guy, the moose, likes. It's Taiga, Asia, North American, and Europe. So we has, should have quite a few choices, as I thought. Uh, 
I love those spruces and pines. Uh, I think that they are very well made in the game and, you know, they always make the habitats look so, so, so good. Also, I love those broken trees. I like to, you know, put them from now and then, like, lying around the habitats. Okay, that looks a bit weird. But in here it should look fine. Yeah, let's add maybe another one somewhere here. And let's go back and see what else can we add. This tree is also really, really nice. Uh, 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 maybe let's add it also in here. This one I also really like. I still don't know if I want to leave this uh, fence open. Maybe I'll check in a second how is it looking when uh, you know I will change it to concrete or uh, something like this because I don't know if I like that those animals can see each other so well and that you know uh lo just looks a bit weird to me to be honest okay what else can we add in here this tree is also really nice maybe like in the back yeah it's looking nice Oh, and also those bushes are quite nice. So let's add them in some places around the rocks. And I think that our habitats will be done. Also, we need, you know, feeders and enrichment. But besides that, just a quick, you know, build. Nothing too complicated, but still I think it looks quite good. Also, we can add this tree and I quite like it. So maybe let's add it somewhere here. Okay, and maybe some more like shrubs. Mm -hmm. Maybe it looks a bit weird from this perspective. Uh, so I will add another tree uh, in here. Maybe let's actually add two of them. Okay. Yeah, I quite like it. What about adding oh, something like this maybe? In the middle. Maybe it's a bit too high actually to be too so close. Maybe it will make sen more sense in here. Yeah, it's looking nice. Okay, and I think we are done with the plants. So uh, let me just see what we have for our friend the moose. Uh, here and uh, for sure we have the food trough uh, yeah the thing with those things is that it's always destroy my terrain work so I hate adding those we can have the water pipe somewhere here for example uh, and then what we need is some enrichment and actually we have a lot of enrichment for them so this is perfect because we don't need to research yet we, st we kind of still want to need to research because we want the education to be higher when you research the oh also i like this one but this will probably do a lot of damage yeah as i told as i told you completely destroyed my rock, rock work this is kind of okay maybe we'll be able to smooth it out around it oh, this was not a smooth tool of course 
Uh, I want to smooth it out a bit and maybe they will be able to use it. Okay, what else can we give them? And uh, maybe a ball, why not? Okay, and now our moose friend guy should be happy. Yes, he is perfect. So let's wait for them to be delivered. Uh, no, don't do it. Don't do it, please. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't there from time. Oh my God. Okay, we'll have to leave of it. Uh, so let's add donation boxes. Let's add, cons you know, the, uh, the boards, the info boards for the animals. And the habitats will be basically done. Uh, so we can add one more in here, I think. Align the surface and add it somewhere here, for example. Also here. And this one is for the moose. Of course, no power because it is quite far. Uh, so let's add a another generator. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Here. Okay. So maybe we will be able to add it here, actually. Does it help? Yes, it kind of does. Okay. Perfect. And uh, in those other places, let's add just regular info boards. Like this. Okay, so this one is too far, but this one is fine. We need to move this one probably and do it just like this. Okay, perfect. I think that this is basically done. This is looking so nice. This guy is swimming, so this is what we wanted. The guy, uh, guests are watching it, swimming. Uh, and yeah, I will deal with it in a second. And right now, let me guys uh, add a new blu blueprint and we will talk about it briefly. So I will be back in a second. So as you guys can see, I already like prepped this area for our picnic area and I added the blueprint. The first blueprint that was uploaded to our, uh, you know, uh, zoo by you, by one of you guys. Uh, you are like so welcome to do it, to send them. Uh, this one, this hat was made by a user made, uh, called Duke Thumb. I tried to use it last time, but I couldn't because I didn't have everything researched. It is simply amazing. It has like this information point inside, but basically, as you can see, this is like a old overgrown hut inside the woods sort of thing. So it perfectly matches to our zoo. And I decided, you know, to make us like a path going through forest to go there, not to make it too obvious. And I will put a lot of plants around it and it will, will look nice, I think. Uh, so the guests need to go through like a little forest to go there. And yeah, this is simply, simply, simply amazing. So thank you. And if you look to your uh, blueprint to be used uh, in my zoos, uh, please send them over like uh, you can uh, like send me a link you can comment down the link in the, the in the comments or you can uh, simply call the blueprint uh, using Caesar creates or the Moles Valley Zoo and I will find it on the workshop and I will add it to our zoo but yeah this blueprint is simply amazing the lighting isn't too perfect for it uh, but yeah 
we will be showcasing it a lot here on the channel for sure because I am simply in love. Okay, so let's add the shops as I go told you guys. So I like to make here uh, like uh, uh, like uh, actually uh, coffee corner with some sweets or something. So let's add the uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The coffee. Street Fox Coffee, perfect. Let's add it in here and then let's add the Bernie Bakes, the new one. And also uh, maybe the Missy Good. And maybe some other thing like smoothies or milkshakes. Probably there are milkshakes, yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me pause uh, for, a for a second because I thought that there was something going on because I didn't pay attention to it, but yeah, I must have missed it. So let's change a bit this one to, you know, I want to make it look more natural. There's some soil, some rock. Basically, let's add some branches, benches, sorry. <laughs> mm, where are they? I'm always looking for things when I want, like, want to have them quickly. Uh, picnic benches and let me see which ones, probably those ones will fit the best. Let me, let me see. Yeah, we'll add those ones. Like maybe not too regularly. Like that. Maybe let's add some umbrellas. Okay, and of course we need bins. And we'll use the ones that we used before. Okay, and actually on this natural path, I think that we can plant some trees and it will look cool. Yeah, some of them here. Let's add, you know, some trees around it. Yeah, and it's looking already fine. And I will probably like finish it a bit more. <laughs> of the camera because I can see that we already have more than half an hour of this video and I will be back to, to show you more the moose habitat and the finished thing in here in a second. So as you guys can see this is how uh, our picnic area is looking, our new like shop area with some sweets and coffee uh, so I will add a lot of foliage around it after I'll be done recording, I think, so it looks even better. And this is how our moose habitat is looking. I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed our new video today. Uh, I think it is looking very, very nice and very cohesive with the rest of the zoo, so I am really, really happy about it. Uh, 
so yeah, this is basically all that I have for you today, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have enjoyed our little uh, video today. Uh, also, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video and of course comment down below if you have any recommendations for our future videos uh, or if you have any tips for our franchise mode. Thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!